You know, oftentimes I come on here and make pleas about and in favor of the animals. Because animal abuse is, well, it's a huge problem here. It's a very large problem. Lots of people abuse their animals. And you know, I just discovered a story of a missing animal. Apparently it's the world's biggest rabbit. And well, he lived in the UK. Darius was his name, or is his name. We don't know what happened to Darius. Darius was stolen. Darius is missing. There's a big reward out for Darius, the biggest rabbit in the world. He was lost and stolen in the UK. You know, I hope the perpetrator of this crime returns that rabbit. I'm making a plea with you. Please do not harm Darius, the rabbit. Return the rabbit at once. Okay, thank you. You know, we can't harm animals. We can't get that sick. We're already doing enough harm to animals by eating it. We gotta stop that too. You know, I got a slogan for the summer. Hopefully it catches on. No beef, no beefing. You know, there wouldn't be any of these beefs out in the street if people weren't eating the beef. They're beefing because they're eating the beef. If we stop eating the beef, there won't be any beefing. You know, Darius. Somebody stole Darius in the UK. This is the biggest rabbit in the world. Somebody knows where Darius is. Please return Darius. It's the world's biggest rabbit. And when I heard that he went missing, I immediately wanted to do a video about it. But you know, it takes time to get things set up and stuff like that. Darius is missing. He went missing recently, not too long ago. Hopefully somebody finds Darius on her. You know, recently they stole one well, Lady Gaga's dogs too. Both were dogs. And both of them were fine. They were returned safely. But people are out here behaving crazy. There's rampant abuse. I just found out the federally funded Washington, Washington Research Center, Primate Research Center. Well, they've been abusing the monkeys in their research center. They don't abide by any of the basic standards. There's monkeys that have died of strangulation in that center. There's monkeys that have like, died of their own vomit. They're getting sick and no treatment. They're being abused in there. And this is federally funded with our taxpayer dollars. Abuse of monkeys in primate facilities. No, we got to stop abusing the animals. If we think that we're going to abuse the animals and there won't be any abuse to us, well, you're dead wrong. You're already starting to see it with COVID-19. You're going to increasingly see more of it. You know, our treatment to nature is adversely in proportion to nature's treatment to us. If you mistake nature, you keep causing all this climate change, and you're going to be the one that's going to be responsible for it. You're going to feel the adverse effects of it. That's what they're trying to tell you with climate change. But you don't seem to get to understand that picture. You seem skeptical of it. You seem like, well, it's not real. It's made up. It's an illusion. It's a fairy tale. Even though we all see the effects of it every day. Larger and larger earthquakes. Worse and worse colds. Did you see what happened in Texas? It froze over. People froze to death. People, well, they lost their homes. Still haven't been repaired. Still no fixes. There's been dozens and dozens of tornadoes. Wiping out the people. Nobody is talking about this. No, because COVID is still a rapid thing. You know? Now more young people are entering into the hospital. They're taking off their masks because people are getting careless. And they're still catching COVID. And people are still dying. We have over like 60,000 new cases each day. You know, you got to start taking care of nature. You got to start being better stewards of the planet. And then the planet will take care of us. But if we keep abusing animals, we keep abusing nature, well, then... We're going to reap the, what we sow, and it's not going to be a good reaping, you know? No beef, 
No beef in this summer. No beef summer. That should be a thing. No beef. No beefing.